Hi there, I'm Zania from A Constellation of Words and I'm so happy to see you here again back for another prediction. This time we're looking at Mercury retrograde because for most of April, Mercury, the trickster planet, also the planet that um, governs communication and transport and commerce and um, words, the way in which we talk, the way in which we walk, right? Um, this planet, the trickster planet, is going to be in retrograde for most of the month of April and not anywhere but in the fiery sign of Aries. So, a lot of explosive energies there. We're going to be analyzing exactly how this affects your particular uh, sun, moon or rising sign. And we'll also ask the tarot cards for some guidance, for some possible remedies, because uh, there's always a little bit of good, a little bit of positive, right, in any situation. At least this is my mindset. So even though Mercury will be in retrograde from the 2nd to the 25th of April, actually the shadow period already starts in March. It starts on the 19th of March and it goes all the way to the 13th of May. So for almost two months, we'll be feeling as a collective the influence of Mercury retrograding in Aries. It's going to be interesting, I'm not going to lie to you. My goal is not to scare anyone. Actually, on the contrary, um, as you've already seen in my previous videos, if um, you're already um, a faithful watcher of my channel, you already know that I'm one of the most optimistic astrologers and tarot readers on this platform and how could, could I be any way different because I have a moon in Sagittarius, I have a stellium in Sagittarius, of course I'm always gonna try to look for the bright side of things, I'm always gonna see the glass as being half full and I hope to be able to impart this energy with you as well, especially during these very turbulent times that um, the world is going through right now as a collective, right? I'm always gonna be honest with you, very straightforward. I'm gonna weigh the good and the bad, but we always try to leave things off on a positive note here, okay? So if you're ready, let's begin. For Aquarius, Sun, Moon or Rising people, well, for us, uh, Mercury Retrograde is happening in our third house. So it's really going to affect our communication. And I'm including myself in this category because I am an um, Aquarius Sun person. I have Mercury Retrograde in my birth chart, so I am more than capable of guiding you and helping you with this topic. My dear Aquarians, um, the most affected by this will be February born Aquarius, which I am, or those that have their moon rising or any other personal planet anywhere between 10 and 30 degrees of Aquarius. Okay, so check your birth chart and just see how influenced you're going to be by this Mercury retrograde. There are risks, there are opportunities, there are remedies. We'll take them step by step. First, the risks. For all my lovely Aquarius people, let me just dismiss here. I had a, a notification on my screen. So the biggest issues for us over the next two months are going to be in communication. There is a lot of opportunity for misunderstandings. A lot of opportunity for our words to be taken out of context. So be careful how you say and what you say over the next couple of months. Um, we might have problems with technology, with our phones, our tablets, our laptops, our PCs, with our email, with the cloud, with backing up the information, just issues with technology overall. So my recommendation for all, all Aquarius people, don't rely on technology. Try to always have a hard copy of important documents or important things that you're dealing with in your projects, in your activities and so on. Especially for students, if you're working on a project, 
you're writing a paper or something like that, always have a hard copy as well, okay? We might have problems with transportation. Either our car breaks down or the buses are late or there's a strike and the trains aren't running on time and things like that. So plan accordingly and don't be surprised when these things happen over the next two months, okay? And last but not least, children, uh, school-aged children, anywhere from kindergarten to the end of high school might have a bit more difficulties over the next two months, but there are some opportunities there as well. Let's see what the opportunities are. If we work with the Mercury retrograde energy, then we can actually achieve a lot over the next two months. So for kids, for instance, like, right, I was saying that school age children might have issues in school over the next two months. But if they use the next two months to revise, uh, go back and read the chapters that were already presented in the, the past few months, if they rewrite the paper, if they retake an exam, if they redo a project, they can have much better results the second time around, okay? Then I said we might have issues with um, transportation, right? But if we allocate enough time, if we get there early, if maybe we take the early bus instead of the late bus or things like that, we might actually find ourselves in some really lucky circumstances by being there early um, because either we are seen as more prepared or we have time to prepare for some additional things or we, we just have time to unwind and relax before our meeting, before our presentation and things like that, right? I don't know if I mentioned that another risk for Mercury Retrograde was um, having issues with our friends, fighting with our neighbors, with our colleagues, with um, sisters, brothers, things like that. All these relationships will be very tense over the next two months. But if we manage to keep our cool and our calm and be level-headed, uh, we might actually have the opportunity to show that we are the bigger person. And someone in a position of authority, either a boss or a parent or other neighbors that are watching the conflict, they will see us acting all mature and level-headed and they will really see that it wasn't so much our fault and they will appreciate us much more for our level-headed attitude in dealing with conflict, okay? And then um, regarding technology... I wouldn't recommend buying new phones, new tablets, new computers over the next two months. Try to avoid it as much as possible. After mid of May, no worries. And regarding communication, just be prepared. And before giving a speech, before writing an email, before sending that text, before uh, giving a call, make sure that you have a plan. Make sure that you know exactly what you want to say, what points you are trying to get across, and then you're basically decreasing the chances of miscommunication. And bonus points, you're coming across as better prepared and more professional. Okay. Now, we're going to look at the um, oracle cards to see some possible remedies for Aquarius people during this Mercury retrograde. And while I shuffle these cards, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment on this video. Also, once this video is over, please run, don't walk to um, my channel and watch in its entirety your spring 2024 tarot spread. It's amazing. Okay, let's see first a remedy for Scorpio Sun people just like me. We have here the red fox. Now, I don't know if I'm ready to pet a fox or get a pet fox or meet a fox in person, honestly. Um, but I do like the energy that this animal gives off. So, if you're not ready to pet a fox, <laughs> to touch a fox, to meet a fox, um, what you can't do is find an image of a fox that you really like 
use it as a background for your phone or your laptop or your tablet over the next two months. And also take the message behind this card, which is to be a shapeshifter. So what does this mean, Aquarius? It means that we need to be adaptable over the next couple of months. And um, how we can avoid issues with communication is by adapting our messages to the environment and to the audience. Because certain people like to hear certain things, other people like to hear other things. So be a shapeshifter. Be sly like a fox. Okay? This is um, our remedy for the next two months. Be adaptable and... Um, just blend into any environment. Win over all the people. Everyone. Everyone can be won over by an Aquarius over the next two months. It's not impossible. Okay. Now let's see for Aquarius moon people. A remedy for all my lovely Aquarius moons. Uh, for you it's turquoise. And finding your way back home. So, for Aquarius Moon people, maybe you're going to go visit your parents. Or if your parents moved from your hometown, maybe you go back and visit your hometown, your childhood friends, or grandparents. Whatever feels like home to you, go back home. Okay, whether home is a person, or um, a place, or a song, or a food, or a certain smell... Connect with that over the next two months. Find your way back home. Find your way back to your center, to your roots, to your priorities, to what really matters to you. And you're going to have a lot of success over the next couple of months. This is a lovely, lovely message. Also, um, if you have turquoise jewelry, wear it. If not, try to get some. If you can't afford it, wear a lot of blue over the next two months okay and last but not least let's see some messages for all my lovely aquarius rising people let's see for aquarius rising people a remedy for mercury retrograde the cow and the bull oh i love this why do i love this more um my my lovely lovely aquarius rising people is because you can connect to this energy in so many ways you can wear leather, you can drink milk, you can eat cheese, you can go to the rodeo, you can start dressing more country, you can start listening to country music, you can do so many things. You can eat a steak, <laughs> you can do so many things to connect to this energy. Your remedy is so, so nice. And don't forget to appreciate the process of transformation that you're undergoing right now, Aquarius rising people. Let's not forget that Mercury going retrograde is not the only important thing. For Aquarians in generally, we have Pluto in our sign. We are undergoing big transformations that are going to take 20 years to really fully manifest and implement in our lives, but it all starts now. So don't forget to be grateful. Don't forget to ground yourself. Also, the Taurus people in your life might help you a lot over the next two months. Go visit the farm. Just, just in, enjoy nature. Enjoy the animals. Go pet a cow. There's actually a lady on TikTok that has this huge cows. I don't remember the breed and... She, she, she was just saying how they really helped her manage her anxiety because they're huge and she can really just lie on top of the cows and they literally feel nothing. Go watch that lady. That's your remedy. Okay? Go pet a cow. Cool. Thank you, Aquarius, for watching this video. I hope the messages um, that we got here were helpful for you. And I'm really looking forward to seeing you in my next videos as well. Bye-bye. Take care.